Good evening. This is Brandy's kids. This will be the last video um, that we have of these guys before they go home. They go in on Tuesday to be spayed and neutered, and then they're off to their new homes. Um, you have weights on your new pictures I took today. And it was so frustrating trying to take pictures of them on a table. Um, so all four of them are out here. And the little Merle over there in the corner is the poodle puppy. So she really doesn't count. But Brandy raised her and she screams if I don't bring her out here with the rest of them. So the two blacks are over in the corner. Uh, well, black and the phantom. And the Merle's out there. Uh, the orange collar one just got trashed. He's uh, laying on... No, that's the pink one. So the females got the lamb playing with it. They're doing good. They are the fuzziest, thickest coats. It's unreal how big their coats are. And they're probably all congregated right here under my feet. Yep, there they are. So this is the first time they've been out here in the big pen. And this one figures, oh, somebody took it away from me. I'm hoping they uh, gang up and do a, a tug of war game with this it's a riot when they do it and two or three of them will get on it and they'll swing each other around and they have a great great time the blue collared pup where'd he go I guess it's not blue it's like a we got a red collar and the blue collar the black male is right there I can't tell you what color collar he's got on what do you think ornery you can probably tell what your collar is but no you're gonna stand up it's orange I think it's neon mm -hmm. orange but he's right underneath me. Oh, there he goes. He's going out and see if he can get a game of tug of war up. The Merle, of course, is so easy to spot. Oh, except it's a butt shot. Sorry. Uh, they're, they're both doing something. Chewing on grass or digging something out. I can't tell which it is. He is a fuzzball, too. So, a uh, coat that just does not quit. I trimmed his face, but I haven't trimmed anybody else's yet today that they really need it trimmed shorter. Now they're getting interested in the hanging toy. I'll tell you what, this keeps them busy for hours sometimes when they're out here. Uh, they kind of go every which way with it. And it's funny when there's a big litter and they all get a hold of different parts of this thing and go crazy playing with it. They've done really good. Uh, they had a bath today and toenails are cut. We have a new girl in the kennel. So today was kind of a crazy day. I tried to get pictures done, and so it's like 7.30 tonight on the 8th, and I thought, I have got to get out here and do these pictures, because tomorrow I have to finish the rest of the videos. And I haven't even shot Whitney's pictures yet. So, uh, I'm going to give you a good long video. Uh, these guys have been great. They know are totally, totally away from Mom. They've been in the house with us completely. They're doing really good. Uh, we're working on no bark, no bite, and no lick, which are biggies when you go home. Um, it doesn't, the no lick part is not necessarily, a lot of families like their dog to lick them. I'm not a fan of it, and the biggest problem we have is we have allergy patients that cannot cope with dog saliva. So that's why we work on the no lick. But most people, when I tell them the reason I don't like them to lick me is they lick their butt and they eat their own poop and urine. I don't want them licking me in the face. Um, if you're picking up your puppy, um, I'll go over with you how we have trained them, what we do with them. Um, I know we've got one in here that we're flying out next Friday. And... So hopefully everybody got their videos, uh, their vitamin information. I sent all that stuff out. And boxes will go out of here tomorrow. I'm going to try and get everything out of here tomorrow. We sold our rental property. Thank goodness. No more rentals for me. I'm done. So the closing is tomorrow in the afternoon. So um, I'm going to be in and out. But I'll try and get uh, your box out to you, Diane. And... Uh, You'll get it in plenty of time, especially it takes about two to three days. We send it priority mail. They are used to their toenails trimmed every week. Um, it's not probably as important to trim them every week. Uh, they're eating on, that's dead grass where Gary Jean mowed the yard and blew grass up against this. So they keep going over there and getting a mouthful of it. 
and um, we trim the toenails every week so they don't scratch the other puppies in the eyes when they play because they play rough and they jump at each other and it saves me having how oh, to get teramycin for their eyes and have a vet visit and so it's just safer for us if we keep them trimmed every week we just take that sharp tip off of the edge this is the phantom and the blue merle poodle back here that brandy raised and then the cho the uh, chocolate merle poodle back here <laughs> he's like i can't get up his no the bridge of his nose is turning silver and so I don't know, I'm anxious to see if this coat underneath, if he turns a silver merle, but the bridge of his nose is really, really silver from where I trimmed his face today. Oh, he says, oh, got a tinkle. Okay, we'll let him tinkle and we'll go the other way. Um, they are still getting their cottage cheese every morning. They are getting their vitamins in the morning. And... We also put them on Metro Diazinol before they go home. Uh, that way they don't leave here with anything from our kennel. So you will get all of that on your health card when you come to pick up. You will have your current shot record. Your wormings will be listed on there. So everything your veterinarian wants to see will be on there. Um, if you're wondering what kind of pin we have these in, sometimes people ask me. <laughs> this is a chicken tractor. This actually has a top that rolls on it to keep the sun off the chickens. And it has a handle on that end down there and wheels on my end. And you can move this around the yard. So for me, the guy asked me when I bought it, he says, oh, do you have chickens? I said, nope. He says, what are you going to use it for? <laughs> I said, puppies. So it's nice because we can move it each day and clean up where they've been. And um, they have a clean part of the yard to go play in. So... And it's big. It's way bigger than my puppy pens. It's probably equivalent to three, maybe three and a half puppy pens. I guess that's the Merle Poodle back there in the corner. These guys are roughhousing underneath me. What are you doing, Ornery? Look up. There you go. Now you can see that silver nose. Yeah, now you can see that silver nose. That's the female. There's the pink collar. And if we get a face, nope, he's gone. I was going to get your face on the phantom and the black male, but he's gone. He says, I'm back. Yoo-hoo. Hey, look up here, goofball. There you go. There's a good face picture. Okay, guys. Don't fight over the camera. <laughs> there you go. Everybody's in the face pictures, including the poodle. All right. I get them to ignore me now or they're going to be right underneath me the whole time. Um, I figure you're going to ask me about this phantom's weight. He did not gain a lot of weight, but he's not near as big as these other puppies. So he's not going to gain like these other puppies. So if you're questioning, oh, there's a cute face picture. If you're questioning why he didn't gain as much, what are you doing? I'm here, ornery. Uh, that's why he's just not as big built as big and he's not going to gain as fast and the male's out here playing ball by himself I'm probably going to leave him out here for a while tonight and let him play I'm trying to get you about a um, 10 minute video and by the time you guys get these there won't be a whole lot of change in them whatsoever um, they'll have another bath after they get home from their spay neuter and whoops there went somebody dashing in front of me now they're gonna run they're all getting wound up nope I quit the biggest thing I can stress cannot stress enough when you get these guys home is you've got to set rules boundaries and limitations if you have small children under eight even six or seven I would not let them carry them around. Uh, there's too big of a chance of them dropping them, and we do have a couple that went home this summer already that have broken legs that were dropped by kids. So you're better off to have your kids sit on the floor and let the puppy come to them, then let them hold them on their lap than you are to carry it around. So um, just kind of a word of caution about that. And don't let the puppy have the run of the house. 
back in your bedrooms, uh, down the hallways, really confine him to a small area. And if you are not physically interacting with this guy or gal, lock them in the crate. Don't let them run around. And don't feel bad if they spend the day in the crate while you work. Just make sure you have a crate large enough they can potty on one end, sleep and eat on the other end, and give them a new toy every day to play with because they do get bored just like kids. So start a puppy toy box and hit the Goodwill store, get some, some soft toys that when they tear them up, no big deal, you just throw them away. They're 50 cents to a dollar a piece, whoop. And so I'm at 11 minutes. Um, I'm gonna close for now. So I hope you've enjoyed their videos. I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. They're doing great. And we'll see almost all of you except one of you here relatively soon. When you come up my driveway, come clear around and park by my van that says Schnoodles on the license plate. And uh, it's a gray Nissan van, and it's easy to spot and just park over by the van. And puppies are in the house with us, so we'll see you soon. Have a great weekend, and stay safe. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Say bye. Say bye. I know, I hear ya. I can baby talk about hearing them aloud. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Bye bye.